Okay, so I think Jack right here, I think he wants to cut, cut open this one right here. <laughs> so what's up guys, we are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notif notification bell, and like this video. What are we gonna do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so you guys remember, Houston was supposed to be in a giant pumpkin growing contest and a giant watermelon growing contest this year. That is hey, not... Hey, how, how big was your biggest pumpkin? Yeah, you got some flowers on your pumpkin vines. What about watermelon? How big of a watermelon did you grow? About that. How much did it weigh, though? Like 280 something. 280? I mean... I think 28 pounds was your biggest watermelon. Yeah. So we're probably not going to be winning any contests this year unless we can figure out a way to. Hey, mm. you think we could buy one of these over here? Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, we could enter it into Leon's contest, right? Yeah. Uh, no. So we've got a guest here who just left Leon's, oh, gardening with Leon in, in Kingston, to show Leon these giant pieces of produce that he grew. You guys may recognize Jack. So Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors is here with his little small pumpkins he grew. Yeah. Did you did you grow these or did you buy them? I grew them. Really? Yep, I grew them. So I, I saw on a video the other day, if you guys don't know Jack, you can check him out on, on YouTube at Grow Jack Outdoors. I, I mean, he's pretty good at promoting himself and his name here. I mean, you're doing a good job with <laughs> yeah. that, man. Everywhere you go. So this trailer has been all over the state, hasn't it? Yeah, we took it to Tulsa last weekend and then... Now we're here at Sulphur and we got the pumpkins. This one weighed 494 pounds and it got fifth in the state and... He got third in the state. Third in the state and fifth overall and that one weighed 258 pounds and got... This one got the Howard Dill Award for being the prettiest pumpkin at the way off. Well. Got the prettiest pumpkin. Yeah. And then So what let me ask you this. A lot of those giant pumpkins, because I'm not an expert on this, but how come how come yours are so pretty and orange and some of them are like white with no color? The it's in, just the genetics and what seed you grow them from and their parents and stuff. Gotcha. So so are you gonna make us some pumpkin pies with these or what's the game plan here? These things are huge. I think we may sell them to the Oklahoma City Zoo, so again. Yeah, again, we sold our last year's one to the Oklahoma City Zoo too. Gotcha. So they're gonna, they're gonna, what do they, they feed them to their animals after they use them for decorations or what? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Well, what about those two things behind Houston over there? He's been jealous. He's been trying to cut into these since, he, <laughs> since you got here. Yeah. These, I mean, I didn't even know at the beginning of the year that you were gonna be doing this. I knew. I had expectations of these giant pumpkins. Yeah. I didn't know you were going to grow such a big watermelon, too. Yeah, this one was 108 pounds, and this one was 101 pounds. 108 so. pounds. And we brought another one that we didn't weigh down here, and we we stayed the weekend at my Papa Ferd's house, and we parked it under the um, little lean-to, and it it was leaking and it was rotten so oh yeah that's the pits so do you think it would have been more than these probably yeah i think it would have weighed a little more than these but not much well man those are awesome dude i'm proud of you you did thank you really really good this this guy here did not grow a hundred pound watermelon hey, you know what he did instead he went to the creek and went fishing yeah <laughs> he was not near as dedicated to the garden as you were this year those are so cool man that that just that just goes to prove that i mean hard work and dedication pays off because yeah. you're fixing to sell those to local city zoo for quite a bit of money right yeah that's awesome so next year what's your game plan what's your plan what are your goals for next year do you know yet try to get the state record next year state record for pumpkins or watermelons pumpkins, pumpkins? yeah what is the state record um 890 pounds somewhere around that and we may be trying to meet the state record watermelon too the watermelon is 255 255 well houston hmm. you think you're ever going to try to beat the state record no how about state record bluegill yeah <laughs> maybe that i don't think you're a state record watermelon kind of guy houston loves growing watermelons 
but he's kind of like a set it and forget it. He wants yeah. to plant his seeds, we'll go down there and water them, and then when we harvest them, he's excited because he yeah. wants to eat them. Yeah. He likes to eat the he likes to eat his watermelons, huh? Uh -huh. I'm surprised Houston hadn't tried to sneak out here with a knife and cut into one of those yet. <laughs> I <laughs> wish. Okay, so I think Jack right here, I think he wants to cut cut open this one right here. <laughs> you seriously? I, hey, he said could we go ahead and open this? <laughs> so you you talk Jack in the cutting open yes. one of his hundred pound watermelons, huh? Technically, yes. Jack said, uh, well, hey, what else are we going to do with it? We got to cut it open, right? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Let's be the, clear. If, if this watermelon's ripe, that will be Jack's second ripe watermelon of the season. He's picked so many unripe watermelons this year. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm not very good at it. So we don't even know if it's any good, huh? We just picked it. Houston, do you huh. think a hundred pound watermelon's going to... Tasting again? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what you could use instead of a knife? A big machete. Well, you just about need a machete to cut into that one. I'm not, I'm not afraid to. So who's gonna cut into this thing, Jack? Um, Houston, if you want to. You sure about this? I don't really trust myself. I don't know if I trust you. <laughs> All right, Where do listen, I do it? Where do I do it? You're gonna take the knife and just go straight in like that, okay? Oh, it's so thick. The layer is so thick. Uh, I think it's right. I can't believe Jack's letting you cut into his watermelon like that. We should have brought a machete oh. out here. Yeah. Here. here. I'll here. go get mine. No, we don't. <laughs> We're not going to use a machete. Tanner, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it red? Yeah, it's completely red. Oh, it's red. Oh, there's a, it's very it's red. Just oh. cut like butter. Holy cow. Oh, wow. Well, air pockets. It could have been heavier. It could have been a lot heavier. The, the whole watermelon's hollow. Yeah. Let's just it smells, it um, smells a little overripe, fellas. Yeah. It's a little soggy. <laughs> that was a little uh, disappointing. Yeah. I don't know. Anybody going to taste it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I want to. You try it. <laughs> the bottom, Jack. the bottom down here has me a little concerned. It's not. Yeah, it's, it, it smells. It does not smell like a good tasting watermelon, does it? Yeah. Hey, oh well, it was over a hundred pounds. The competition was to see who could grow the biggest watermelon, not the tastiest one, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're lucky. I'm coming. Hey, you gotta come taste this watermelon. Okay. It's over there on the ground. Oh. We, it was too heavy for the trailer, so we moved it to the ground. Good. We, we were all kind of holding off tasting it. We thought maybe you'd want to taste it first. <laughs> Are you not going to get a bite? Good. Mm. Isn't that bad? It's no. just, it looks like that because of the variety it is. It's, it's not, it's yeah. not rotten. <laughs> it's not. Hey, look at the watermelon compared to your dog, Emily. Oh. Your dog could Wait. use that watermelon for a dog house. Yeah. <laughs> She's, like, She's scared nope, of it. I'm out of here. Watermelon. 
Well, there's no doubt the pigs loved their half of that 100 pound watermelon. So more than likely if the, the goats and alpacas and chickens don't start working on that one, it's gonna end up over there in the pig pen in just a little while. But guys, I, I just am blown away at Jack's ability to grow those pumpkins and watermelons like that. It's so awesome. Please do me a favor, go over to YouTube at Grow Jack Outdoors and check out Jack's channel. He does a lot of cool stuff. Awesome kid. I mean, Jack is the, he, that's his channel. His parents are involved and his parents are there, but Jack is the guy behind the camera, in front of the camera doing everything. That's his deal. So I'm super excited to see a young kid that's really going after something he enjoys doing and growing those huge pumpkins and sharing his stuff with the world on YouTube. But anyways, uh, that was just kind of an impromptu video. We weren't planning on that. They just were in that were driving through the area coming back from Leon's and just wanted to stop and show us those those pumpkins and watermelons. But guys, uh, yeah, so cool, so awesome. So go check out Grow Jack Outdoors and tell him Daniel from Arms Family Homestead sent you. And uh, I know they'll be excited to have you over there on their channel. So anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.